After that, with Daddy Freeze and the Lobsters, I've got Nene up in here. That's the addition, guys. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And I've got Amal here looking all... Glammed up. Glammed up. Yeah. Like a pin-up. Ah. <laughs> all right, all right. Quite a lot to talk about. Starting with Pretty Mike, who spoke about how a man can last longer than 40 seconds. Wow. And Tonto DK dropped a comment. Hey. So Pretty Mike went on and on. Um, he said ladies deserve to enjoy it too, which I kind of agree with. Mm -hmm. He exactly. said so many things that unfortunately I cannot say yeah. on the radio or on my channel. Um, but he ended it with ladies am I communicating? And Tonto DK said, teach them. Teach us, please. Mm. <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, what do we think about Tonto's comment or start anywhere you want? There's quite a lot do, of do, this do, table. do women do women actually mind about how long it lasts? Okay, yes. Do women mind? Is it necessarily about how long it lasts? Exactly. Is that where? Is it, that? Okay, let me ask. So you guys, that means you guys don't mind forty seconds. It's just about how you use it. How you 40 use, seconds how you use the like, time like for 40 seconds not 40 seconds can 40 so. seconds really achieve anything i doubt so but that... you people said it's not time i don't know how you, you, no, you, you no but you if we're talking about no if we're woman. talking about time yes. 40 seconds does not count because how does anything last 40 seconds like right now 40 seconds have passed. <laughs> i don't understand so... <laughs> 40 seconds is only for the like four i don't know. like before like the what Beginning, the beginning, the beginning. Like before the beginning, <laughs> before the beginning. <laughs> before the beginning. <laughs> hey, now a lot of celebrities are of the opinion that Tonto shouldn't have talked, that it would affect her child. Did you see many of those comments? A lot of comments. celebs came out and was like, "Think about your son. Think about your son. Yeah. Think about your son." And here's my message to those people, guys: the world. It's not going to be like the world you grew up in, mm -hmm. where the things that matter to your parents are going to matter. Hello? Mm -hmm. If the Kardashians are not embarrassed by Caitlyn Jenner, mm -hmm. and, Tristan. and Dream is not embarrassed by Black China, Black China wow. and Black China's mom, I well, think well, I think you guys thing. need to understand that the world is evolving into something else and coming all out to speak is actually going to be valued by the upcoming generation as against our generation where we would feel embarrassed about it. This is the social media generation. This is the generation that talks. Yeah, well, well this is still Nigeria, okay? Forget yeah. it. So the world is evolving. I don't know how about it. I don't know about Nigeria. I don't think we're oh, really no, you can't say that. that. Okay, we you Let can't say that. Wasn't it in Nigeria? In your, before your very Abuja eye, Bob Risky is going to be a brand ambassador. He is already. Oh, I don't talk. <laughs> He's already a brand ambassador. He's making a lot of money. Looks better than a lot of girls. That's so, 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 so what world are you talking about? That? Which future? Do you know how fast the world is moving? Do you know how fast Nigeria is moving? Really? Oh, no, yes. Nigeria. No, 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 no. Forget about the fact that we're not growing economically. We're growing we're not internet still, wise. Think, no. yeah. Okay, yes. Well, we're growing. But and the world is going to be determined by the internet. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you what my forecast for the next five years is 50% of businesses will be run from home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least 60% of businesses will have majority of their work done online. While 50% of businesses would be run from home. Radio stations from home, TV stations from home. A lot of stuff is going to be happening in people's homes within the next five years. True. So what other world are you talking about? The world is moving to a more vocal, more um, uh, outspoken place. It's no longer you're a woman. Shut up. Exactly. Listen. Listen. Dream Kardashian's grandmother. I thought she was a stripper. Mm. Imagine your grandmother. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Or a stripper stroke one or two porn movies. Wow. So the world... And you think they're going to taunt her in school? They're going to ask like, wow, what was it like to have a grandma like that? Hmm. She was so honest with me and she was so nice. Yeah, she told me. My, you think she's not going to have my grandmother told me stories? 
She's going to have those my grandmother told me moments. And listen, guys, you want the change. You're asking for the change. And everything that comes with the change, you're going to have to deal with. It's like, you see, we have a mind. We, we have this cherry-picking mind. We go to the Old Testament and pick tithing, but leave the rest of it. Mm. it doesn't, life doesn't work like that. Wherever you go to pick your ideals from, remember you're going to pick some not-so-ideals that come with those we ideals. Six, yeah. So, I'm sorry, but I don't see what Tonto said affecting her child in any way at all unless it's not this future that we're going into mm. unless another future if we're going into the past oh yes yes during my parents time oh yes during our time when we were growing up yes now no. not really five years from now absolutely zilch maybe we should take phone calls what do you guys think yeah Two seven one zero nine six nine two seven one one nine six nine two seven one two nine six nine and two seven one three nine six nine. Nene, what do you think? I don't think I, I don't think we can categorically say that it would not really affect him because I'll, I'll, Nigeria, as much as we think that we're growing on the internet, we still hold some of you know how hypocritical we are in this part of the world, right? Let you know, me ask you a question: we The still values hold we hold some... today were they as powerful as five years ago? No. And they will not be as powerful as five years from now. It's going to fade away. The world is becoming that global village. We've got calls coming through. Hello. Yeah, hello. Oops, lost hello. that call. 2710969. 2711969. 2712969. 2712969. And two seven one three nine six nine. I'm of the opinion that whatever she said would not hello? Fred, All right, Fred, what's your submission? Uh, I'm, really, I, I'm, not, I'm not really current. I actually heard about it when some ladies were talking about the issue. Uh, our wife, so, so what I want to say is that uh, a lady is not supposed to be in charge of any relationship. Hmm? Wow, um, he's probably listening to another radio station. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Are you with us? <laughs> are, are you Hello. with this radio station? Of course I am. Not that talk talk one by the seaside? Oh, no, no, no. I'm with you. I'm always with you every day at the club. All right, my darling. So what do you think about the topic? Oh, actually, I, I don't think uh, what you said is going to affect her side in any way. First of all, you're just living her life. Be real, realistic. Her side is going to live his own life for... I don't think um, this have any similarity with like the future or what. Hmm. Said we have we would have shredded and gone. That's what I think. No, mm, the we internet doesn't really forget. Yeah, the internet doesn't forget. It really doesn't. But also, what is valuable to the people who are reading on the internet? Do you understand? All right, we've got calls coming through. Hello. Good evening. Go ahead with your submission. Yeah, um, I actually think anything Tom Pedicke said was what she felt she has to say because it's her life. She's actually living her life. Whatever um, the people are saying that we affect her son, I don't think that's relevant at all because her son will also live his life without minding what the mother thinks about it. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a point there, especially since the world is moving into this freedom of expression, freedom of thought, freedom of choice. Uh, last, last would be, that's my mom's choice. Now, here's my choice. You know, the, the world is creating, you know, well, when we were growing up, children were seen and not heard. Mm. Daddy Freeze, but I think like a broken home would definitely, affect, I don't know because I don't mm -mm, come from a broken mm -mm, home. No. Mm -mm, nah. Forget it. How many? There are but there are a lot of people that are from broken homes and they go through things, okay? It might not be, it's not like. You see, it might you see, you see, listen. A broken home, losing a parent, being with both married parents and, ha and being molested, yeah. having a sickness, all sorts of things are going to traumatize every. Nobody's going to go through life without having Thanks their. God, yeah. You, yeah, and then if you I, have, me, if you have you, to read about how your parents. Do you know what's going to traumatize you more? You know, Hold on. Do you know what's, what's going to traumatize you more than a broken home? What? If your parents were rich and then became poor, mm. 
Mm -hmm. That would traumatize a child because children do not understand life. They do not understand why am I going to have bread without egg? Why is there no dodo on this rice? Why are we eating twice a day instead of three times? If you grow up and have to read on the internet how your parents broke up, how your mom called out your dad Uh, several times, all of the allegations and everything. He's going to grow up into a world that is pushing for feminism, into a world that is going to appreciate the fact that his mom stood up and spoke. That's the world he's going to grow up into. So he's going to be looking at his mom as a hero. Mom, you stood up. Mom, yeah. Uh, mom, he you're is, my... I'm, I'm telling be, you. He's going to be King Tonto's son. Huh. Like I'm telling you. Unless we change the way we think in this world, which is next to impossible, if it is this same mentality we're pushing, guys, <laughs> nah. Let me tell you what happened. Um, a few guys in uh, Ede picked up a prostitute took her home and wanted to have intercourse with her without a condom and um the lady refused do you understand and the guys beat the lady up as i'm talking to you the guys are all in prison Mm. the guys are all in prison Mm. as i speak to you do you know there was a time when this would never they, they would never have arrested the guys They'll have arrested the woman for prostitution. And the whole neighborhood would have come out and say, yes, 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 beat her. The prostitute, beat her. The world has changed from that. Now women have rights. Even if, even if she's a prostitute, she has rights. I mean, Listen, if you have sex with I mean, with we're a, saying all of this when recently in Abuja, women were, you know, arrested for just being in the club. Listen, listen. It is not an automatic process. Yeah. But it is... Listen, if women were arrested in the club in Abuja today, imagine 20 years ago, what would have happened? There's, there's imagine have imagine 50 now. years ago when my dad was 20 and he was growing up. My dad told me about a cousin who used to tie her Iro as mini. He said they beat her up in the market one day for tying her Iro as mini. That the boys in the market ganged up and beat her up. And everybody that was there was praising them. And probably what they were calling mini was something that was kneeling. You, you understand? So we're coming from that world and we're going into another world. Mm. Now, should we throw all decency to the wind? Absolutely not. But we should also realize that what matters to us now. I'll, I'll tell you a story. Mm. There was a woman who found out her husband was gay about 10 years ago. And was afraid, you know, back then, 10 years ago, mm-hmm. being gay was a big deal. Mm-hmm. You understand? And she was afraid to tell the world because of the embarrassment. Today, is it still embarrassing? No. Within th- 10 years, a paradigm has more or less shifted. Do I agree with this shift? I wouldn't say so. But I cannot ignore the fact that times have moved. So if you go out now and say, well, there's, there's, there's a lot of sympathy towards gay people. There's a lot of sympathy towards women. There was a time when there was no sympathy towards black people. At all. Do you understand? Now, today, um, three black pageants in America were won. Three pageants in America won by black people. Miss USA, Miss America, Miss Tin. Thank you very much. So all of a sudden now, there's sympathy towards black people, sympathy towards gay people, sympathy towards women. And we're growing in that world. And these people who I'm talking about, the gays, us blacks, and the women, are getting more powerful by the day. So if we were to look at that, I don't think it's going to be a problem in 10, 15 years, when the boy will be 15, 16, 17. 